All right, guys, three minutes and go. As you can see, I'm not in my natural habitat. I'm actually in Arizona. We got the call yesterday morning and uh, drove like a bat out of hell to get down here. We had to be here by nine o'clock and at 8.58, we were walking in uh, the Mayo Clinic. By 11 o'clock, my brother was being wheeled off to uh, surgery to get a new kidney. Um, Thank you to everybody that reached out to me. Prayers, positive thoughts, voice messages. Jordan, I do apologize. This is not drag up coffee. I need to go to the store to get an ice chest because I have my cold brew. I'm the only person I know that goes on an emergency surgery vacation, so to speak, and I bring a one gallon cold brew and the fridge isn't big enough here at the hotel. Um, so I have to get a, uh, yeah, anyways, I need my, my drag up coffee. Um, Life is in session, man. You're showing up. You're doing the right thing for the right reasons. Uh, you know, I'm going to go back to the hospital right now. Uh, just an update on my brother. Uh, the kidney's taking. Uh, he's peeing, which is a big thing. Um, he's just tired and in a lot of pain. I'm going to go check on him. Just be there for him. Uh, you know, and, and that's what it's about, man. If, you, if you're if you with somebody and you love them, whether they're family, friends, a random stranger, you know, um, that has come across your life. You know, yesterday I was sitting in the waiting room and this guy sat down and we just started talking and come to find out he uh, he just lost his parents and uh, well, his mom and he felt totally lost and he was struggling. And I just, for like three hours, we were talking about life, love wins. And it was about just being in the moment and being present. And yeah, there was stuff I had to do and but I just, it was heavy on my heart to talk to this guy and come to find out, you know, he's really struggling. I offered to give him my number a few times. I offered to buy him the book, The Alchemist. Um, he didn't get the number and he didn't want the book. He said he'd buy it, but you know, you just, I hope that, that and I told him, I go, look, man, I hope our paths will cross one day and you'll be able to tell me, hey man, you, you know, you were absolutely right. Cause I was just, I was prophesizing over him blessing and abundance and breakthrough and I know where he was at because I've been there and uh, you know I really feel like part of the reason I came down here was not only to be a support system for my brother but to have that one conversation with that young man and I'm here to tell you guys if the universe puts someone in your path and you feel it on your heart to talk talk man don't be afraid to put it out there I promise you you won't regret it a random act of kindness will change the world it's free it's priceless and I promise you we will change the world in a world where you can be anything, be time. I'm living proof of it.